Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my Rogue Tech series. So when last we left off, we had uh, captured a couple of pirates, um, pulled off a quick mission, tried to refit some of our mechs, so our lances are on their way to getting back to normal. One thing we do need to do though is get our third mech um, bay up and running here. Got the Kentaro under repair, Catapult is just uh, getting itself repaired a little bit. Hunchback is getting back repaired, but what we're going to do, we found out that where these pirates uh, originated from, their home base is, if we go to the star map here, is at Crawford's Delight. Now it's only a couple jumps from here. Now the good thing about this, and I, you know, they probably picked a good system to be in because there's pirate presence here, but uh, it's a prison planet, research world, uh, travel hub, mega city. It's a good place for them to sit and be able to gather resources and launch attacks from. So the base is here. We're going to go over there and we're going to ransom these two guys off. We're only going to be asking for pirate points for our jump ship. So right now we're just going to uh, take our the regular jump route here. 50,000, not that bad. So we're just going to travel there. By your command. Hopefully once we're there we can pick up a contract while we're negotiating for the freedom of these two pirates. It's the leader and the second in command of this pirate specific pirate outfit. Hmm, demoralized. Animal approaches you on the mess deck. Commander, you know how payroll is sidelined in, in mech bay or in med bay. I've been visiting her, trying to keep her morale up, and well, she's really messed up. She thinks the injury was her own fault. Maybe you could do something. It wasn't her fault. She got beat the crap out of by three different mechs. Resting a hand on animal shoulder, you say, thanks for letting me know, animal. I'll see what I can do. So we don't really have a library, unfortunately. I'm going to go visit her visitor in the uh, med bay. Later in, in the day, you arrive in the med bay and find payroll in bed, just staring at the ceiling. Hey, Commander. Didn't expect you to come by. You'll be back on your feet in no time, Payroll. She shrugs, then winces in pain. Maybe, I don't know. I feel like this happened for a reason. After 15 minutes, you, you're you unable to lift the cloud over Payroll's mood, so you bid her speedy recovery and retreat. She's got low spirits for 30 days. I think she's second-guessing signing on to us way, way back. She was the first mech pilot that we hired. She was a noble. If, uh, I'm not sure if you guys remember from one of the uh, earlier episodes, she was a noble that we uh, picked up on another um, mission such as this, where she was interested in joining, so we jo we let her join up, and um, unfortunately, why am I getting animals picture for uh, payroll? Anyway, unfortunately, um, she's um, getting into low spirits here, so hopefully uh, she'll be back on her feet in no time. She is the leader of our second lance, so... All right, so let's continue on our way here. We definitely need to get her back in action. She is quite a good pilot for the second lance. So uh, once we get there, first thing we'll do is we'll look for contracts. Well, we're going to send Animal down to the surface. So Lothian versus Hegemony, they're still fighting. Oh, sorry, this is the... Oh yeah, Marion Hegemony. Yeah, it's, they're still fighting. It's ridiculous. That's like almost every single time this comes up these two guys are fighting. Darian versus Tarians, Oberon Steina. Let's just get through this. Okay so 608,000 doing well except this. For the number of mechs we have and the number of pilots we have 608,000 is actually really good. So let's continue along here. It's definitely an exceptional uh, or an acceptable f financial report seeing that we can pull off you know we you know four or six missions every month. So it really isn't hurting us in any way. Oh yeah, also I got the um, the uh, automation up and running at the end of last episode. I spent a few minutes, sold a few things, and got our uh, mech bay automation up and running. So that should be done right now. Hey boss, we've just those Excellent, thank you. So we're going to go to engineering. Got 479,000. and don't think it's enough to get the second med bay up and running. No, we need 900,000. But I'm thinking we're going to probably do that since we're um, starting to get injuries on our pilots. But this needs this uh, med bay or mech bay three requires 200 and uh, 2.25 million. Seven plus seven tech points, which is awesome. But unfortunately, we we're going to need to do some more missions before we can actually do that. And we're going to have to get some of this recreation stuff going. People just seem unhappy. All right, we're almost there. All right, here we go. So first thing we're going to do is send Animal to the surface to make contact with the pirates. Uh, we're going to visit the store real quick, uh, just to see if they've got anything in here that's worthwhile. 
every once in a while, um, not in this game, but in other games, I found a double heatsink kit in here. So, cool, cooling pod. Definitely gonna buy that. Every once in a while you find one of those in there and it's it's just definitely worth getting. So we're gonna use that probably in one of our later builds. And I think that's probably it for now. We can't really do too much else. Okay, so let's have a look at our contracts here. And then we'll quickly bump out to our, to our uh, barracks to let these guys populate. Oh yeah, the other thing I did between episodes was I changed the contract um, status, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So we've got three lances now, and before we were pulling, like we had the minimum of like two and a half, three skulls, up to five skull missions. So you notice now I've got a one skull mission in, in the here. I'll show you what, we, what I did. So if you go to settings, you can go to difficulty settings, and it brings up the original... Uh, mech difficulty or the uh, difficulty settings from the start of the game you can change this mid game so I changed the contract difficulty variance from three to six so now it's like like a difference of three skulls and um, we're just gonna go back out of here so it's a difference of three skulls now um, but you need to log out and log back in before it'll take effect so um, let me see here. Or at least I think you have to travel from one planet to another before it'll take effect. But I think you have to quit out of the game and come back in for it to actually work. So uh, it's definitely worth it if, you, if you've got a wide variety. Um, if you've got a wide variety of uh, lances and you want to be able to do multiple missions. Some with light, some with heavy, some with medium. So now you can see I've got from five skulls all the way back to one. So now I can just choose what I want to do. I can mix and match my, mix and match my lances if I want. So this is kind of this is really great. Uh, this is one of the things I like like about this um, about Rogue Tech is now I can run three, four lances and just you know land on a planet and just do all the contracts, right? Just different lances, different weights. So you can mix and match your mechs. Just have just have fun. So we're gonna do a mission here, probably around three and a half, four skulls. Where lances are, I don't think we're gonna get be getting our Kantaro back for a little while yet. Oh, it's six days. So let's just run for six days here. I want to actually test that out in the main lance. Happy accidents. Darius almost the morning's briefing. Oh, this is the triple F burger one. So we're going to uh, take a risk here. We're going to try and sell it. Yeah, we've gained 10,000. Okay, cool. I'm not going to read through that. This comes up every once in a while. If everyone, if you've played this game before, you've seen it. So I'm not going to bother with that. It's not really a role-playing option there. All right, Kentaro back. Cool. So let's choose a mission here. Well, animals out down there trying to find out what we can what we can about the uh, pirates, and hopefully set up a meeting. We're gonna go and pull off a mission here, something what we can get some good salvage out of. Stealing is a form of flattery. This is a capture base, drop interception, which is just a rain battle. Fort observers is battle. This is a four skull battle though. I wonder if we should do this one. Hitting industrial targets. This is going to be a couple of lances, probably. This is probably going to be. Um, yeah, it could be one, or it could be, or it could be two. Uh, let's try the drop interception. We can always bail on it if something happens, right? Um, let's go with this one. Let's negotiate this guy, and we're going to load out with everything as much as we can, salvage wise. I'm going to accept this. So now let's plan our lance here. So we're pulling out the trebuchet. And we are going to be loading in the Kentaro. If I can find it here. So here we go. And I think that's it. That's all we need is the 355s and the 70 tonner. Hopefully this catapult gets up and running soon. But we'll see how it goes. i got to I got to think about how I want to plan it. Without, without an XL engine in there. Especially a Clan XL. I don't, because if I'm punching above my weight... It's, we're going to be attacking assaults, and if I lose a torso, the mech's gone. So I have to really think about how we're planning on doing that. So let's just deploy here. Looks like I might need more firepower. Yeah, Darius, you keep saying that, but uh, we keep doing okay. So we're only one skull difference. Command interface initiated. All right, welcome to the map. Dropship landed somewhere in the area, Commander. So they're just up ahead. Looks like we got a vehicle, two vehicles. Really? Oh, man. Maybe they got some clan gear. Okay. Cover here. My guess. That's a 35 tonner. At four skulls. 
Really? Yeah, that evasion is not going to help you. So my guess, that's two light men. Those are two lights, really? What is this on my sensors? And a 35 ton. That okay, something's weird. Something's really weird. I wonder if they've got a secondary lance coming in because this is like definitely not a four skull mission. What are your orders, Skipper? Um. Well, that's weird. Let's see if you can kill both these guys. Got a mech back here, hunter tonner. Okay, well that makes more sense, but. Did we just get lucky in the draw, maybe? Up armored Saladin, 76 armor, with an AC-20, and we're dealing with a J. Edgar, uh, with half decent armor. So let's just do this. Here we go. I was thinking about split firing, but we want to make sure we take care of them. So much for that. And we got ERPPCs for the J. Edgar, so I'm not worried about that. So, flatliner. Actually, let's test out the missile boat here. Let's just move them in. Let's go. Mm, not really happy with that uh, paint layout on this guy. The trebuchet had a really cool one. Uh, I guess it's okay. I may have to go in and repaint this guy. Alright, so we got some range on this guy. Oh, we don't. Oh, right, because we have dead fire armor. That's right. Well, we'll just fire the ER medium. That's fine. I forgot we had the dead fire ammo. Alright, let's just walk over. There's no point in running. Firing the heavy goss. On wow. Didn't expect that to hit at 29%. That's awesome. Let's show them how to hit, man. Well, you know, we, I shouldn't say that because we do have those targeting computers and everything, so... Let's just fire. Not gonna waste any ammo. Just in case we have more enemies coming. Okay, so I'm interested to see what this hunter tonner is. He's not going to be in battle till this vehicle is dead, so... So he's coming... Where is he going? Okay. Ah, uh, fair enough. I don't think they're going to have reinforcements. Alright, height. Let's bring it back this way. Don't want to engage with this guy just yet. We want to make sure everybody can engage with him. Okay. What's up, huh? Can I move you forward, sorry to say? He might be able to see you when he comes around, maybe, I don't know. And then we're gonna reserve ground zero. I wanna see if he makes himself uh, open. That way I'll give us two shots at him with our main guy here. Nope, not anywhere near we can see him. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I am gonna move full speed out this way because I wanna get around this rock. Attack him from the side, hopefully. Alright, let's see what the vehicle does. He's coming back now. Can we see him? Nope. That's fine. Alright, so let's go say hi. Height. Let's do this. What do we got here? Ah, Marauder 2. Oh, it's the nasty one. Great. Oh, he's got an Ultra 20 AC. Two heavy PPCs. Oh, God. Okay. Let's hit him with everything. Gotta put his ass on the ground, I think. Or at least try to. Alright, Flatliner. Let's put his ass on the ground, buddy. Stay in the trees. No, shooting too, please. Like, lots of shooting. Fire everything, buddy. Okay, so that's good, um, good go. stability damage. Let's get Vane Skater around. Hopefully he stays in front of Flatliner a little bit. Heavy Goss. Let's get some stability going on him. Do we get him? Do we get him? Do we get him? Almost. We got him. Okay, perfect. Now I should be able to knock him down. So we're going to come around this side. On my way. Double time. Triple time, man. We need to get there. Let's hit him with everything, including the LRMs, and hopefully knock his ass down. That should do it. Yep. There's the knockdown. Okay, so 
pallet head hit. So now we're going to start targeting that head of his. How much resolve do we have? 14. Not very much. So let's see what he does here. He's definitely going to fire everything, probably. That's it? Wow. Dumbass. You should have fired everything, buddy. 35 ton arrow up there. I don't know what he's doing. Backing up somewhere. Oh, okay. So he is firing. Is that an LRM-15, I think? It's probably a striker or something. Alright, let's do height first. Let's get up on this side. I want to be able to see the vehicle. Let's not get to a point where I think we can. he's going to be able to do too much melee damage if he comes after us. Um, can't really see that guy from there, but that's fine. Gonna fire everything. Once again, he's looking for stability to knock himself over. Or to knock him over. Okay, flatliner, same thing. Gonna move to a position where he cannot melee us. Well, I hope he can't, he can't get here anyway. And we're gonna unload on his side with everything. Good chances to hit. I take 50% against the assault mech, there's a good chance to hit. He bank destroyed. Two of four health, pallet hit. Cobra strike. Excellent. Excellent. Need something, Chief? Okay, let's get you back over here. Copy that. Full speed. And I want you to we don't really have a lot of offensive push. Hmm, plus six penalty. Okay, let's just fire regularly. Maybe we knock him over. On it. That should do it. Up torso. And he's gonna fall and good night. Good night. Excellent. Salvage. Can you say salvage? I know you can. Like we should be able to take this guy out really fast. So this is a quick mission. Scimitar, LRM. Like no armor. Goodbye. You don't protect a a uh, a mad cat with that. Or a marauder. Alright, that's it, buddy. Let's get out of here. So, now that we're actually choosing mech parts... I know it really wasn't, it wasn't really a pirate mission, so we weren't doing it on our own, but... In the interest of getting close, because they, at the end of this month... Um, is when the new Battletech uh, comes out. The new... Um, uh, DLC. So, I want to get into doing some of that, I think. So I'm going to try to wrap this series up uh, relatively shortly. So um, we want to get some of these uh, assault mech pieces, although the AC-20 Ultras are nice. There's two of them. I don't think there's really anything else. Oh, Exchanger. See, I'm always tempted by things like that. Breaching shot cockpit. And then the heat bank's nice, but do we have... There's no XL engine or anything. So we'll take two of those. Take those two. And we'll take the Marauder 2 part and do this way. So we got two Marauder 2 parts. Then we got the two Ultra 20s. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. All right, cool. And our reflective armor. All right, that's like no repairs. Pretty much no repairs. Warhammer's back in one day. Five days for our, our guys to come back. So that was an excellent mission with the exchanger and stuff. We can definitely start working on... Uh, new things. The TC cockpit we definitely can put into, I think it was, if I remember correctly, it was the Trebuchet 5N. We ended up with a slick suite in, I believe. No, I did the TC cockpit. Which one did we end up with the slick suite? Was it the, uh, yeah, it was the uh, Hunchback. So I think we'll swap that out and we will look at some heat issues in, I think the Trebuchet had a heat issue. When we were trying to put it together, so we may be able to put the um, yeah, it needs an engine too, so there's not much we can really do about that for right now. I may have to go back and re examine this light lance, it just got a light, light engine, light engine, so it's not really giving us anything with these, these two light mechs if we take the light engine out. So, yeah, I think I'll end the episode here for now. And when we come back, uh, Animal's returned to the ship. He knows where the pirates are, so we're going to go down and negotiate with them between episodes for a pirate jump point. Probably pull off another mission when we come back. We've still got um, everybody's uh, ready for another mission here. 
and um, we might pull off a couple missions, leave the planet, and when we leave the planet, we'll use the pirate jump point to go out and attack another uh, another place. I think what we'll probably end up doing though is we're gonna because we're technically not technically, but you know, personally um, engage with the uh, um, all the uh, states here on the outs outskirts of the inner sphere. We're kind of allied along here with these guys. We've got good reps with most of them. We'll probably start attacking uh, uh, Free Worlds League um, places that they've captured from the uh, Magistry of Canopus and things like that. We'll just atta start ta attacking on here. The uh, um, around our restoration is down to one world. Free Worlds League has taken a lot of those, so we'll probably hit those. These guys here, uh, the planetary government is like. Looks like it's revolted against a lot of these places. I don't know what uh, what the deal is with all that, but we will probably be going in here and trying to flip some places here, just to see what we can get on whose side. So yeah, that'll be our next goal: is start attacking um, free worlds league house places like that and start taking some um, heavier missions where we can actually get in and smash some people. So until that time, though. Um, if you like the video, please uh, drop a like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to drop drop uh, a message by, either in the comments section or sending me a message, e either one. And I will try my best to respond. So if you guys want to see something, well, if you want me to take on a certain type of mission or change some mechs around, just let me know and I'll, I'll make some changes and get some things going. Hopefully, um, I, if the... New update to Rogue Tech, I don't find it is that exciting. I am, go or sorry, the new update to Battletech is not that exciting. I'm going to be switching back to another Rogue Tech series after this. I'm going to be installing the new version of Rogue Tech. This is still the older version. But um, the newer version of Rogue Tech I will be installing and running a slightly different campaign. I was thinking about doing one where I ally with one of the houses and just we just go to war against um, whoever they're fighting at the time. So that's just a thought, but we'll see how that goes. But until next time, I'll see you later.